morning, morning. I am so excited to see you guys this morning. Um, not sure when you're gonna get this video, but this is a what I eat in a day video. I know a couple of people had requested it. I love these videos. And as you know, I'm about 35 down, 35 pounds down in the last year and a half. So any tips and tricks that I can give, I'm going to because I just want everybody to be healthier. Like, I'm definitely not a weight loss expert. I am the size I am for a reason because I too like to eat good food and I cook good food. But I just wanted to um, do a what I eat in a day and if you guys like it, I can do more of these. If you don't like it, I'll never do it again. First things most important, alkaline water. So a lot of times I'll get the core water where I can get them in cases too, but this one was at Sam's Club. It's a Mark brand, 9.5 pH, one liter per bottle. I drink two at least a day. Like minimum two. Sometimes I'll drink three or four. Um, you can't have too much water. Like that is very much a thing. But I feel like the pH level in this water helps me with a lot of different things. Helps me with hydration. Helps me with um, kidney issues. I really like them. Also, I do IF, intermittent fasting, which is different for every person. I eat my first meal at 10 a.m., which is a little early for some people who do IF. Um, I wake up early. I wake up generally around 7 a.m. Um, but my first meal of the day is always around 10 a.m. And um, my first meal today is this beautiful salad. It um, is a sunflower crunch salad from Walmart. It has carrots, cabbage. I don't think it has any regular lettuce. Um, red cabbage and white cabbage. Yeah, you know what? It does have just a little bit of iceberg, it looks like. Um, sunflower kernels. A little bit of bacon. And then this really good sweet onion dressing that comes with it. Mmm. And this is about half the bag of salad. Um, I could probably eat the whole bag if I wanted to. But I share it with my 13-year-old, um, well, 12-year-old, excuse me. And, um, yeah, she likes it a lot, too. I typically don't use the sweet onion dressing with hers, though. I'll put ranch on hers for her. I have some eggs boiling on the stove right now for later. Probably eat again. This is 1030. I will probably, God, I'm sorry, it's 1051 now. So I made this at 1030. By the time I got set up and everything, it's now 1051. But um, I probably like, gosh, 2 or 230. I will make myself like an egg salad wrap. I love my egg salad. I make sure you guys my recipe here in this video. That might be a good idea. And um show you how I do my egg salad. So That'll probably be like 2 or 2.30. And then I don't know what I'm making for dinner yet. We might do leftovers. I have some corned beef brisket in there. I have some fettuccine alfredo in there. I'm the Tupperware. And I have some um, 
pierogi in there that my daughter this pierogi won't last till tonight <laughs> my daughter will eat this pierogi probably for lunch she loves pierogi if you're not familiar pierogi is like a it's a polish dumpling essentially it's got potato or cheese or meat inside of it um but i also have some ribs in there that are like pre-cooked that i could just throw in if they want ribs I could make my husband a corned beef sandwich for lunch. That would use some of the corned beef up. And then I could do the ribs and give them the fettuccine, a little bit of that on the side with the ribs. And that would use up some of the fettuccine. So I would also be using leftovers, but they would get a fresh dinner of the ribs. So. I'll keep you posted. I may eat egg salad the rest of the day. Because <laughs> I love my egg salad. I like to put it on a tortilla and do like a wrap. I like to put it on crackers. I like to stuff it in peppers. That's also really good. Mm. I don't, um, drink any soda. Sorry, I'm trying not to give you like a look directly into the food in my mouth. But um as a treat, like one a day. I do drink these LaCroix, the Pomple Mousse, only the Pomple Mousse. I don't like any other flavor. And only if they're ice cold. Water water, I can drink room temperature. Like this has been out of the fridge since I woke up. And so it's like room temperature now. LaCroix. Has to be immediately from the fridge for me. I don't know. But when I first discovered those Pomplamous LaCroix, I was drinking a lot of them. Like five a day. Because they were delicious and they were a great soda substitute. But the carbonation will still dehydrate you. So now I only have one a day. I'm done with it. I ate a good portion. I'm not quite full. I think I'm going to make a tortilla with some cheese in it. So let me show you that. Hey guys. Okay, I'm back. It's been like, only, only like 15 minutes since I turned off the camera, but I had to make Sophia something to eat while I was grabbing my, don't mind my squeaky office chair. It is so loud. It's just a low carb tortilla. It's really hot. You can see the steam coming off of it. And I put cheese in it. Mm-hmm. See, just a little mozzarella. It's not a little, it's probably too much, but. Just to like, I don't know, I mean something a little bit more filling 
than just the salad because I don't have any protein really on my salad. They have like some tiny bacon crumbles, but nothing that would like fill you. And I love these low carb tortillas. I'll have to look and show you the brand, but I get them at Sam's Club. Mm. they're like a little different than a normal tortilla like you can tell they're not a regular tortilla they're a little soft but they taste good for low carb because a tortilla has a lot of carbs in it I took my hair down. I took a shower this morning and then immediately threw it up because it's raining today. I don't know if you can see the mist on our windows, but it's raining today. There's no point in me blow drying my hair, or flat ironing my hair, any of that. So naturally, this is about the ramen noodle-ness that I have. It's not even a pretty curl. It's literally like ramen. So I'm going to finish this a little bit and then I'll see you guys in like I said I was going to eat between 2 and 2.30 but due to all the delays it's 11 now so it might be closer to 3 before I eat again because if I had just had the salad I would have ate it too but with this low carb tortilla It'll easily be 3 o'clock before I eat my egg salad. But I'm going to show you how I make my egg salad. So come along, guys. Okay, guys. So we have seven cut-up eggs. They are hard-boiled. You definitely want to make sure that yolk is all the way cooked through. We're going to put them in this bowl. We're going to do one line of mustard and a couple of little glugs of pickle juice and then mayonnaise and then I'll show you what we season with so I'm making seven eggs because I do like it refrigerated and I like it the next day and the day after so that's why I'm making so much at one time probably could have used a bigger bowl here but as you guys know from my videos with Stephanie use the smallest bowl possible and um I definitely always do so I just did one line of mustard and now we're going to add in some of this pickle juice I don't need a ton of it I'm just going to Pour enough to give it a pickle flavor as I spill it. Wouldn't be me if I didn't spill, you guys. Starting with a half a cup of mayonnaise, um, you definitely, I like my egg salad wet. You can really cheat the calories here by using light mayonnaise and Greek yogurt mixed together. Don't happen to have any light mayonnaise at the moment. I bought regular because Thanksgiving is tomorrow and I've needed regular for a recipe, so let me get this mixed up and see if I need a tiny bit more. All right, half a cup was great for seven eggs. Don't need any more than that. Like I said, if you're trying to save on the calories, you can use either light mayonnaise or you can do a quarter cup um, light mayonnaise, a quarter cup Greek yogurt. I put a smidgen of just a couple of shakes of pink Himalayan salt, but I'm now gonna throw in this everything but the bagel seasoning and get it real nice in there. I love this stuff on my egg salad. Stir that up, refrigerate it for a few hours until I'm ready to make a wrap and it should be perfect. Okay guys, I'm back. For many reasons, lunch didn't happen today. The biggest reason being my husband, I forgot, had an orthopedic appointment on um, today at 2.30. So that's right when I had planned to eat my second meal. Didn't happen. My problem is when I go real long periods of time, some people get like starving. I actually have the opposite effect. The longer I go, the less hungry I get. So it's now 4.10 and I went ahead and threw dinner in because 
they can eat whenever they're ready, but I need to eat. So um, we ate what you guys saw at 11 o'clock, essentially 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to eat this on camera because there's no nice way to eat ribs on camera, but I have ribs and green beans. I've had two ribs already, so that'll be my third rib and green beans, no carbs tonight. They're having the leftover fettuccine with it, but I'm just not feeling it. And yeah, thanks for coming along, guys.